a Ryuka customized your desktop icons. I even got your favorite character, Mio. What do you think? Ryuk? Ryuk? Oh yeah, um, uh, it's uh, okay, I guess. Hi everyone, and welcome to my tutorial on customizing your desktop icons. In the description below, I've got hundreds of anime icons available here for you to change your desktop icons to. Uh, for step one, you'll need some pre-made icons though, so simply click the Shishi Icon Pack link in the description since that's what I'm going to use in this video to demonstrate how to customize these default desktop icons you see here. So please pause the video and download the pack and then we'll start with step two. Now for step two, I need you to move the icon pack to a permanent folder that's also very easy for you to find later. Um, I would suggest moving the icons to the My Documents folder, or Documents as it's called in Windows 10. And if you can't find that folder, it's one of the main folders in Windows, usually in your personal folder with your username on it. And you can also just leave the icons in the Downloads folder permanently. Just make sure you don't delete them in the future. So just pause it and do that, and then we'll move on to step three. For step three, you need to right click the icons file and choose extract to like I do here. This will create a new folder. don't see the extract to command, uh, you need to download the free program WinRAR, which I also linked in the description below. It's very fast, it's safe, a lot of people use it and it's an easy, quick installation. And then afterwards you'll be able to extract the icons as I did there. So pause it and do step 3, and then we'll move on to the final step, step 4. Now for a last step, you can start changing the desktop icons into any icons from the folder. Just right click any folder or shortcut icon on your desktop and click properties as I'm circling here. And then click the change icon button. For folders, it's under the customize tab and for shortcuts, it's under the shortcut tab. After clicking Change Icon, click Browse, and then find the place where you left the icons earlier. And click on any icon in there and hit OK and apply and OK again and the icon will change just like here. Now you can do this with all the shortcuts and folder icons on your desktop. Now the only icons you won't be able to change as easily are certain Windows icons like the Recycle Bin and EXE files like this Undertale Start icon here. Uh, you'll know that it's these files because you won't be able to find the Change Icon command by just right clicking them. But there's easy fixes for both. To customize Windows icons like Recycle Bin, go to Appearance and Personalization or Display in your Windows Control Panel and you should be able to find the option for changing them there or near there depending on your Windows version. So I click Control Panel first. Then I click Appearance and Personalization.
Next I just click personalization. Then change desktop icons. Then you choose an icon here and then you click the change icon button and customize it just like you did with the other ones. And lastly, to change any other icon that doesn't have change icon when you right click it, like this exe file, I suggest just making a shortcut out of it and then changing that. Um, I have sprite icons in the icon pack as well, so we'll change this shortcut to a game sprite. This is the easiest way by far to change these kinds of icons, but if you really want to change the EXC itself though, it's a bit complicated, but I left a link in the description of this video to show you how. And now you should have your desktop looking more how you want it, and if you have questions or requests, just leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to answer them, and I appreciate it a lot if you like and subscribe for more videos.